Hi, I'm John, and today we're going to be doing the head timing or the head pinning on a ZSK machine. First, we want to try to move to needle one of the machine. If you're not already there, we use R4, changes the bottom row for our needle selection, and push the button for U1, which will make needle one, and we'll push the go button to make it happen. If your timing has jumped or so, you may not be able to do this, but uh, for video purposes, we'll move down here so we can see everything. Um, second, you want to enter the uh, main shaft position menu. We'll use um, L3 for service and then R2 for test machine attachment. And then down here at L7 is main shaft position. You click that, it makes the screen big for you. On the uh, Jaffas and bigger, the button here will release your brake. If you have a sprint, you do not have a brake, so you won't have to worry about that. So first we need to identify whether you have a Jaffa or a Sprint, whether your head pin timing is at 136 or 129 by the sticker right behind the head here. Once we have the brake released, you have the pin ready. We have taken the cover off of the side here so we can see everything. The hole that we're going to put this pin in is right here at 12 o'clock above this black collar but we're gonna to wanna to turn it on our screen to somewhere close to 136 before we stick our pin in. Pretty close now. The pin goes in through the housing and then it meets a hole. Once it meets it, you will not be able to turn the shaft anymore. We have locked it in. So now we can turn back and forth you locked it into position. Once we've locked it, we take a look at our screen. If it's off, anything other than 136.0, we want to take and loosen the collar here. Now we want to be careful not to move the collar around. There are two slits down here and this collar is a counterbalance. So once you get it loose enough, that it wants to move, make sure you get it tightened back just a little bit more so it doesn't move around. Now we're able to move the shaft. Once the collar is loose and you have your slits lined up, you want to adjust the shaft so the degrees matches your sticker. In this case we're at 136.0. Now I'm using this handle on, on the shaft at the end here. Um, you can have someone else on the end with your shaft turning tool. So we want to lock in at 136.0 and then tighten the collar back up. I want it good and tight. You remove your pin. Exit completely out of the menus and when you hit the go button the machine will reset itself.